fish on. Fish on. Kokini number one, uh, silver turbo flasher followed by a pink mini turbo spinner. Howdy guys, Kel Kellogg here. Welcome back to the channel. Um, it is a hot day here in the Sierra Foothills. So Lucy and I, we're hanging out down here by my apple trees where it's nice and shady and somewhat cool. Um, I've been getting a ton of questions about flashers. What are flashers? Should I be using flashers? Why don't guys use flashers anymore? So on and so forth. So I'm gonna go over and talk a little bit about flashers. Now in the beginning of this video, you saw me catch a very nice Stampede Reservoir Kokanee using one of my turbo flashers. And we'll get back into those in a second. But uh, should you be using flashers? Absolutely, yes, you should be using some sort of flashers. Now flashers, I've got a traditional set of flashers here. And by the way, out here on the West Coast and in California, we call these flashers when we're fishing lakes. Back East, they call these lake trolls. But basically, it's it's the same thing. It consists of a rudder where you're gonna attach your main line. That keeps everything from getting twisted up. Um, some steel cable, um, usually multi-strand twisted steel cable and a variety of blades on there that are gonna rotate when you draw this through the water. Some sets of flashers have five blades, some have four, some only have three. Um, some of them have larger blades than these, some of them have much smaller blades than these, some have round Colorado style blades, some have willow leaf shaped blades, some have Indiana shaped blades like these right here. Now the end of that strand is tipped with a swivel it should be a snap swivel because you're gonna attach a leader right here and you might put a lure on it. If you're fishing for trout, you might put a spoon on there, a threaded worm on there, whatever. If you're fishing for kokanee, you might put a kokanee spinner on there. You might put an apex on there. You might put a small spoon on there. The bottom line is at the back of the flashers, you're gonna attach a leader of you know various lengths depending on what you're pulling and uh, you're gonna rely on these blades to make the fish curious, whether you're targeting kokanee, kings, or trout. It's gonna make those fish curious, the flash, the vibration. They're gonna come in to see what's going on. They're gonna spot your offering. They're gonna grab it, and you're gonna have a fish at the end of your line. Now, that's great, but that's also where some of the shortcomings of traditional, you know, lake troll style flashers come in. Um, this unit right here, it creates a tremendous amount of drag when you pull it through the water. Um, not only does that mean, you know, it's gonna kind of bury the tip of your rod and kind of muffle the fight of the fish, it's also gonna give that fish something to fight against, to establish slack against, and any time a, a trout or a salmon can establish slack, you got a decent chance of that fish, you know, head shaking, tossing the lure, fish is gone and you're disappointed. Um, other thing about this type of a flasher is it's made out of metal. If you just drop this in the water, it's gonna sink. It's heavier than water. It, it's got a lot of weight to it, you know, as compared to some other things. So that's another factor that's gonna help fish shake the hook. And it's it also just makes this heavier on the end of your line. So that's why I came up with my concept of turbo flashers. Now, flashers for a lot of guys, they don't use flashers anymore. They view this as an old school technique, primarily because they don't like the drag and they don't like losing fish. Well, flashers are still very effective. Anglers may have changed, but the fish haven't changed. Kokanee still love flashers. Trout still love flashers could catch kings with flashers, not every day, but flashers have to be something that's in your repertoire. And that's why I came up with turbo flashers. And I got a couple of them hanging right here on my crab apple tree. Let me show them to you. Now these, these are rigged. When you get a set of my turbo flashers out of the package, you're just getting 
the little unit there and you're getting some hardware. You're getting some beads, you're getting some snaps, and you're getting some swivels. What I like to do is I like to rig them on a piece of 20 or 25 pound fluorocarbon line, put a couple beads at the back of the flasher tacked as a bearing, put a bead up front just for decoration. The tip has got a swivel on it. The back end has got a snap swivel on it. Main line goes here. Whatever kind of a leader you're attaching goes here with your offering. Now, what's so special about these? Well, I'll tell you. They put out a bunch of flash and vibration, come in a variety of different colors. We have metallics, we have painted, we have pink, we have fire tiger, and uh, you know, we have, we have chrome and blue, chrome and orange. Um, you get a variety of colors and finishes in a kit of my turbo flashers. Um, they are neutrally buoyant when rigged like this. What's that mean? They don't really float and they don't really sink. Anytime you've got something that's neutrally buoyant, it's not gonna make a lot of drag coming through the water. While they do spin very quickly when you troll them, even at one mile an hour, you're getting a good deal of, of uh, spin on those, which is creating a lot of vibration, a lot of pulsating flash, they don't create very much drag. Um, I'm gonna estimate that they only create maybe 10 or 15% of the drag that one of those blades on a traditional set of you know large willow leaf or indiana blade flashers like the ones i just so showed you create that means less drag on the end of your rod um, you feel the fish fight better and it's also something because of its low drag properties and its neutral buoyancy that the fish they have a difficult time you know developing slack between between you know their mouth and the back of the turbo flasher that means you're going to put more fish in the in the net more fish in the boat less lost fish and you know we all want to avoid losing fish so if you want to get all the benefits of traditional flashers without the downsides of big drag big weight and lost fish Give my turbo flashers a try. You will not regret it. One of my number one presentations for trout is to team one of these guys, either with a threaded worm or a plastic grub when the fish are a little off, when I need to slow down 1.8 miles an hour, 1.5 miles an hour, troll that through the zone. The flasher brings them in, the grub or the worm closes the deal. In that situation, I'm looking at a 24 to 30 inch leader typically. Um, if I'm out kokanee fishing, I will team these with a kokanee spinner, usually made with one of my, my mini turbo flashers or maybe an Uncle Larry's or something like that. In that situation, anywhere from an 18 to 24 inch leader back to the spinner, I also like to use these a lot, and what I was using early in the, in the video, if I, if I remember correctly, I'm not sure if I was using a spinner or I was using a spoon, but I, I do like to team these with small spoons. Micro triggers, weed dick nights. Spoons for kokanee are pretty much kinda, kinda overlooked these days. Guys like to pull hoochies, few guys still pull apexes, a lot of guys like to pull spinners, but there's not a lot of guys out there pulling straight spoons team this with a micro trigger or a wee dick night you're gonna be showing the kokanee something they haven't seen a very effective combination and again leader length on that when i'm targeting a kokanee anywhere from you know 18 to 24 inches something like that so once again um great value great utility something that will put a lot of fish in your boat throughout the course of the season if you haven't tried my turbo flashers i urge you to get a set of them um you won't regret it you'll be yelling fish on I'm Kel Kellogg, and just broad statement, if you're not using flashers, even if you're gonna grab a set of your old school metal flashers out of your garage, if you're not using flashers, you're not catching as many fish as you could be, and that means you're not catching as many big fish as you could be. Our goal here on the channel is to help you catch more and bigger fish, and one of the tools that's gonna help you do that is a set of flashers, and I prefer my turbo flashers.